All right, it's 4 a.m. Let's play Tunnet. Tun it. Tunnel Internet. That's it. New game. What happened to that guy? Ignition one, do you copy? Who is this? Sorry to wake you up. It'll take just a few minutes to complete the process. Which process? Take a deep breath, one thing at a time. I've been assigned to be your supervisor and I need to get you prepared. Prepared for what? Please hold on while I'm setting up your locomotion module. Done. Now try to look around and press the red button 16 times. Okie dokie. Can't move yet. Good. All set. Try to walk. Alright, I can move now. So, I have played the demo before just to get a feel for things so I'm not goofing around, tumbling, fumbling, all the controls and whatnot. It's gonna grind for a second. This is a surprise tool that'll help us later. Alright, something, something like that. Last thing, find the vending machine and buy a relay generator. What training? Network technician training. Oh god, I'm an IT guy. Didn't they mention it to you before your hibernation? Dog, I don't remember. Guess I wasn't supposed to hibernate for so long. So we go to the vending machine and we can buy relay generator for 16. Now it's time to build a relay next to the mainframe in the other room. Put them on the floor or the wall and they'll automatically connect. Wowzers. But I'm actually going to go back in and buy the pure relay deluxe. So every six relays connected to the same chain will turn into a light. Gotcha. Pick up a page for my quick start guide manual. Everything is sold out except bright batteries. Gimme. Who are you? Good morning, sir. May I take your order? What's on the menu? Fried lithium battery, as usual. I will have one. Please and thank you. Need to go this way. Money. Dude in a lab coat. Are you a scientist? I'm just an assistant. The actual scientist left a long time ago. Where'd they go? I don't know. They left without notice. What are you doing now? I'm doing my own research. Sure. I have a technical question. Mainframes? What's that all about? Mainframes are programmed to send it uh, Okay. Nerd. What do I need to do? Connect a relay to the mainframe. So, this is the mainframe. This port 0, not connected. So if I hold down left click, get the little outlines, and we need to go ahead and put this here. So now it's automatically connected. I try to connect the endpoint to the mainframe by building more relays. That's the endpoint over there, so we need to get this down here. Each relay costs a dollar to build, so we want really stretch them bad boys out. Now, got it connected, and it's generating money up top. 0 0.06 kilobytes per second. See, so you should now try to connect more endpoints to the network. 
The wires can be split using hubs. Try to remove one of the relays and replace it with a hub. I need to actually get a hub generator. Oops. Nope. Bare hand. Hub generator for 32. Alright. So now... What I want to do is... This... Hit him with that. And instead... Run... That. So... This hub has... Port 0, port 1, and port 2. So... You can have three cables total connecting to it. So I can split this off. Connect another endpoint somewhere else to this hub. Instead of having to just run more relays. So now I need to locate other shelters. I can purchase a scanning tool. Now we all run back to the venue machine. Grab ourselves a mouse tool. Get super scan. And that boy needs $128. I'm just gonna go grind that out lickety split. Alright, good enough. Hit the drill, and now let's actually go back and connect that other endpoint to the mainframe. Every endpoint we connect starts generating more money for us. And now there's another page for my handy dandy manual. This just gives you a general rundown on how to actually connect all your network stuffs. This, I've looked at it and I don't understand it, so it is what it is. Connect this bad boy, as far as it'll go, there. Put them on the walls, and just run it all the way down to the hub. And I think we're actually going to need, we're going to need some, that works just fine. So now, got two endpoints connected, so, should, I think this should update, where it says, so, there it is. So where it says address, zero, zero, zeros, that's the mainframe's designation. Then where it says peers, you've got the one and two down there. That's, I think that's endpoint one. I can't move past this. Whatever. I think that's number one. And that down there is endpoint, yeah, 0 0.002, all that. Now the reason that's important is because when we scan with this little thing, up in the top right, it says the name of a random endpoint nearby and how far it is. So right now it's pointing to one, which is just that one over there, which we already connected to. The vending machine also offers a drill, yada yada yada, we already got that. We can dig through the dirt. Let's go dig through, th through some dirt. But first we need to have this thing actually scan till we find another endpoint. This one, but now it's pointing to 1.2, which is somewhere this way. So, now we come to the tunnels. Let's just see if we can go this way. I want to go in a straight line as much as I can, because this terrain gets easily messed up if you're not careful. Rocks. I did not dig these tunnels. That scares me. I love capitalism. I think I'm getting used to the solitude. Me too, buddy. Need to go that way. I'm just gonna keep digging this way. Uh, let's... Let's just keep going. 
trying to smooth out a walking path. Uh, this way, still. That looks like something. That wood. If I hit M, I can check my map. But there's something down here. And actually, while I'm at it, let's left click and designate the endpoints that we've already found and connected. So that's 0 0.0.0.1. 0 0 .0 and over here is 2. And this one that we're coming up on is going to be 1.2 if we find the entrance. The construction site over here. Wear safety helmets. I I am. Relocate immediately. To all workers and architects, stop your current task immediately and go to the assembly point. Um, I'm not a worker or an architect. I'm an engineer. More pages. This. Oh, take a look at this. Dear technician, my team and I needed to borrow some pages from your manual to enable the endpoints. This was the only copy we could find. More are about to be printed, but unfortunately, we couldn't wait for them to arrive. We'll return them as soon as we're done. Please proceed as usual and follow the instructions given by your supervisor in the meantime. I apologize for the inconvenience, Captain Robert. Gee, thanks for making my job harder. So we found 1.3. I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the map. 0.0.1.3. Done. But now we need to connect this all the way back to the mainframe. I want to go this way and just straight. So let's see if we can't do that. Let's dig some tunnels just to make our way back. I think that's... Nope, too far. Run it back. That here's good. Nice and connected path. Let's run back and connect... That endpoint. Oh, grab. Put them on the wall. Now we just. Okay, not right there then. There. Good enough. Let's see. Now we just need to run it all the way back to the base. Now, ooh, look at that. Our first light. And we're back at the research lab. And now, this bad boy is connected to the mainframe. Now, let's see. Play the tape. September 14th. <clears throat> the endpoint enabling crew successfully booted up the mainframe of the research lab. Sergeant Mike isolated the thing, and the assistant scientist seems to be operational. We're heading to the military base now. What should we do about the robot technician? We cannot leave without completing the procedure. The initialization process can take several weeks. Our schedule is very tight, we need to move on to the next mainframe now. I'll request an engineering team to inspect the site as soon as we come back to the headquarters. Headquarter. I agree with Robert, we don't know what is wrong with the technician and we have no time to investigate. We need to set up the other mainframes anyway before building the network. Let's move on. By the way, Sergeant Mike, did you wash your hands after touching the... thing? Almost. Ew. Our penny-pinching administrators can't even afford soap, apparently. So anyways... That's... closed. I wonder why. But we're generating more money now. Apparently there's monsters in this game, but I haven't... seen any yet, so... Wow. No soap. Why is that the same color as that? 
Oh well. So we've got three out of 65,535 filters connected to the network. I don't want to connect all that. Let's just find more network. 3.0. That direction. Any of you guys want to wake up and help me out? I don't know why all this uh, dirt is blood red, but it's very easy to dig through, so no complaints. The cave. There she is. When I first found this in the demo, that pickaxe sound terrified me because I thought there was someone else. So now, can't actually connect anything else to this hub. All its ports are being used. So, what I'm gonna do instead is run these two back and connect them to a hub. Then connect that relays to this hub back in here. Just like that. Connected, connected, connected. And in a second, our money gain should go up. I like what that was just now. I think we have to put your current task on hold. What happened? Felt like something collapsed. An unusual signal coming from the research lab. I hope everything's alright. Mind having a quick look there? To be honest, this is the first time I have to supervise this type of situation. Oh, so you're useless. Just don't do anything stupid while you're in there. And by the way, you may call me Madeline. Or thing. Corporate guidelines recommend employees call their supervisor. My name is Madeline. What's yours? Harry, Harry, Roger, Therese, Chantal. I don't know. I'm going with Therese. Nice to meet you. Now at this point, this is where the demo ended, so I don't know what comes next. Return to the research lab and talk to the scientists. You didn't tell me anything. Are you a scientist? Uh huh, we've been over this. Why did they leave? Oh no, they left without notice. What were you researching? Networking technologies. <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, that's useless, but that's green now. So, um, see what happens. Oh, oh, hello. You're the scientist I need to talk to, ain't it? Don't get too close. Endpoint? What happened to it? Endpoint is infected by a somewhat interesting parasite. I've been studying it for several years in the incubator, but it suddenly managed to escape and infect the endpoint. I guess it's got a bug. How bad is it? Don't know for sure, but the infected endpoint doesn't seem to emit packets anymore. So it's not generating money? That won't do. What can we do about it? I've managed to develop an antivirus. Disinfect the endpoints. 
try it on this endpoint if you want. Where's the antivirus? Put a sample of it in the vending machine. It's on sale? Let's go. Don't complain about having to buy it. It's on sale. Yeah, this guy needs money too. My first antivirus. Disinfects endpoints. You're useless. I'll left click to disinfect. All clean. The department appreciates your extra effort to help the scientists. We now expect you to resume your work on the network. What should I do now? What is my next task? The architects created four mainframes. Upper management is requesting us to connect three other mainframes to the network. Where are they? I can buy a long range scanner and this will give me directions to them. Okay. The filtering device is now also available in the menu machine. That should help you optimizing the network. I can ask the scientist for details, not that guy. Filters. How do they work? Can be used to route packets or prevent them from being transmitted. Okay. Why would you prevent them? What for? Some packets are sensitive, which means they won't be forwarded if they don't if they reach the wrong place. Filters can help you controlling the paths that packets should take. They can be quite versatile when combined with the hubs, okay? I am confused. Just, okay. Just play around with it. Let's go get those new upgrades. Hyperscan. Long range radar. Filter generator for a thousand. But I need more money. Ralph. Alright. Let's grab filters. So I need to expand the network and enable the mainframes. We need to go this way. Let's go this way. Money! So, we should just be able to head pretty much straight 485 meters. That's a long way to go. I'm out of money. And I don't want to go all the way back. So, I guess I'm just going to sit here until I uh, generate more money. It costs more money to dig the further I get from the network. That is foul. It used to cost one dollar, now it costs eight. But I was going insane. I don't like that sound. Might have just been that rock, but doesn't mean I like it. Does this make sound if I drop it? Well, it made sound. Hang on, look, look, you can literally see it change from 8 to 10. Look at that. 10, 8, 10, 8. Crazy. Well, let's just keep going. Grind it out. There's gotta be a better way to do this, but... How should I know? I've only played the demo. Who is... That way, and that's a lot closer. Maybe I'll go that way. 
Feel truly alone in these tunnels. You probably aren't. Okay. Thanks for suddenly putting in music. That scared me. Looking at. Uh, I don't know if I'd like this. Oh god. Get me out. Just uh, focus on the mainframe. Let's go to the mainframe, baby. And I'm out of money. And the music stopped. Where am I right now? Look at all that. Wish I could just zoom out. Hmm. The pit. Alright, this is taking forever. I'm gonna go back and just like grind out some money. Alright. Back at it. Hmm. The pit. The pit. The pit. Hmm. Oh, the cavern. Coming from like it above me? I think it might be like above or below me, I don't know. I think it might be down? Pointing me too. Guess we go down. Can I get back up that Skyrim horse? Oh. Okay, I can get back up. I think I found it. Yeah, here we go. Mmm, what are you dropping from the ceiling? The monastery. Have faith. Welcome to our church. Very warm. How do you know that you're a robot? You? Do I need to worry about you? Does the mainframe's like of me? I don't like that sound. Oh, and there's music. Well, nothing's gonna get done if I don't do anything, so let's just fall out. See me just now.
play the tape. Captain Roberts, September 25th. The endpoint enabling crew successfully set up the mainframe of the monastery. Brother John was initially, initially assigned to guard the place, but he started to feel sick. We're trying to figure out who can replace him. Brother John, Robert, I think I would actually prefer to stay here and get some rest. Brother John should not stay alone here. I can stay as well to take care of him while you guys boot up the last mainframe. That sounds good to me. The network team should arrive in a few days. I'll instruct them to bring a medic as well. The symptoms are similar to what Sergeant Mike had. We should make sure he's alright as well. The captain shouldn't leave anyone behind. It's too late to go back to the military base now. Our only chance is to reach the HQ and get the network team to hurry up. Let's move on. Oh, is that Brother John out? So where's the mainframe? Ooh. Okay, there's monsters. Give me money. Give me. Yeah, give. Uh-huh, I'll read that later. There's a vending machine? Okay. Unless that thing sells a gun, I don't really care right now. More pages. Okay, I, well, I'm hearing... something. Well, let's read our book. What do, what do we pick up just now? Block diagram, yada yada yada. Jetpack, so I'll be able to fly at some point. List of certified supervisors. Captain Robert, Madeline, and John Doe. I think that guy only patrols inside. Mainframe. Get me over there. Disinfect that bad boy. Oh, oh. Not good. Well, I don't know what to do about that. I like disinfect him. And I get a gun. He's still there. I know what to do. Hit tab. What can I do for you? I am stuck. Do you think you can help me? No worries. Respawn at the nearest facility. Wait. I changed my mind. I don't... If it'll respawn me here, then I don't want to do that. He's still not leaving, so I don't... What, what, what am I doing? Let's just go say hi. I think I died. Yep. Okay. Well... Where am I? I'm at a new facility. Oh. I'm... Outside the monastery? Yeah, that's where the mainframe was. The big room. That's all that. Okay. But now I'm... I'm he, he just dragged me and put me in here. Funny. Okay. But like... Why? He have his own nefarious purposes for me? Well... I've been recording for over an hour, so I think I'm going to call it here and make this into a video. Bye-bye.